When you talk about the speed of ships, you often find that their maximum speed is far higher than their usual cruising speed. So why don't they just go around everywhere at full speed? Well, there are actually a variety of reasons. It could simply be due to the itinerary, which is the case particularly on passenger ships. Take the Caribbean as an example. If the schedule says you need to leave port at 5pm one day and arrive at 6am in the next port, it's just a case of distance over time to get your speed. Interestingly, you do often find cruise ships taking a distance added route if the speed required to meet their itinerary is too low. Cargo ships, on the other hand, simply have to get their cargo from A to B, and they plan their itinerary to take account of the passage length. In recent years, they've actually increased their planned passage times so that vessels can set lower speeds in general, a practice known as slow steaming. But there is somewhat more to it than just saving a bit of cash by running a bit slower. It all kicked off back in the late 2000s when the oil price rocketed up to almost $150 per barrel. Shipping companies began investigating ways to reduce their fuel consumption. Soon after that, the bottom fell out the stock market as the financial crisis hit. There was less money available for investment and consumer confidence plummeted. With people buying less, cargo volumes dropped and the demand for ships reduced. 